I'm Juliet Gibson. I am a board certified dermatologist practicing at Trinity Dermatology, which is a member of US Dermatology Partners. Um, one very common reason I see patients is for lesions of concern, like a growth that they're concerned about. Is this skin cancer? Is this okay? Um, and so just some general tips on when you want to seek a dermatologist. I tell patients to look out for things that are changing, changing in color, size, symptoms, maybe they didn't feel anything and now it's getting painful or itchy. Um, and I tell patients, especially things that are um, bleeding, you wanna see a dermatologist, things um, that are not healing. So if something's not healing in a few weeks, you definitely need to see your dermatologist to, to get that checked out. There are definitely certain things that will put you at a higher risk for getting a skin cancer. One is if you are fair skinned or you have light hair, light eyes, um, and if it's hard for you to tan, so if you're usually burning, and if you've had um, you know, blistering sunburns in the past, that puts you at a little bit of a higher risk. Um, if, you, um, have, if you've had a skin cancer, you're at a higher risk. If you have someone in your family who has a skin cancer, Another thing that puts you at a higher risk of skin cancer is um, a history of indoor tanning. So this is even if you did it once when you were in college, this still puts you kind of at higher risk because of the concentrated UV radiation you're getting in those sessions. And so that would be something where you'd wanna come in and see a dermatologist to get a full body skin check. There are three main types of skin cancer. Um, there are the non-melanoma skin cancers, such as basal cell cancer and squamous cell cancer. And then there's melanoma. Um, basal cell cancer is the most common cancer, and, the most, and that is the most thing that you're most likely to have. Um, that type of cancer is very rare to spread to other parts of your body, but it's very important to get tested and to treat after um, after the biopsy because it can grow and invade local structures and um, cause some cause local damage. Um, squamous cell cancers are kind of a little bit up from basal cell cancers and in, in how aggressive they are. They can spread from place to place and um, especially if they have certain high risk features. Um, and then we have melanomas, which is what are um, this our most serious type of skin cancer that can spread to different areas of your body um, and um, is something that needs to be treated aggressively. And um, if in certain state, we hope to catch it at an early stage where that's all we have to do is cut it out, but sometimes um, it's kind of past then. And then we're gonna be working with um, a oncologist um, and you and to kind of come up with the best treatment plan. Every dermatologist does it differently, but what I do is I go from head to toe, and so I look in your scalp, I see if there's anything that I'm concerned about. I look closely at your face, your arms, your chest, your back. Um, I look at your legs. I will ask you if you'd like me to look at your genitalia, because for a lot of women, um, that happens at the ob as well, so it's really, for me, my patient's preferences, but I do like to screen there because skin cancer can occur on anywhere there is skin. Um, we'll look at your buttocks, um, we'll look inside your mouth, we'll look at your eyes, um, and then we'll even look um, in between your toes and on the bottoms of your feet. We're looking at all of the different spots that you have that you may have noticed came up. We're looking for um, even textural changes that sometimes um, tell us maybe that there's a precancer. Um, we are looking um, for spots that maybe you didn't notice that aren't healing. You can see the link below to do a skin cancer risk assessment to get an idea for your own personal risk for skin cancer. There's also a link below to schedule an appointment with a board certified dermatologist to get your full body skin exam.